another year of WEXP. I'm your host, Jake McCabe, alongside Jake DeLuca. Yep, how about that? We got a big show for the start of the year, including update from Student Council, record-breaking performance on the gridiron, and a preview of the activity fair. But first, we want to welcome our new explorers to the LaSalle community. The class was welcomed to campus last Tuesday for freshman orientation, where they gathered in the grotto for a prayer service with Principal O'Toole and ran through their rosters and community activities. Wednesday, they planted their class tree and received their class ties. And I've been working with 14-year-old young men since 1982. I know that some of you will have lost this tie before the first day of classes after Labor Day. <laughs> Others will have it rumpled and stained beyond recognition before Thanksgiving. But in other cases, your mothers will save it in tissue paper and bring it out for key events, honors complications, Ring ceremony, graduation. A few of you will do the same for reunions throughout the years. And perhaps on a day like this, 30 years hence, when your own son enrolls. In one or two cases, though, this will be the tie selected by your widow and children when they prepare you for your last farewell. Chosen because they recognize LaSalle as the most significant institutional relationship of your life, the place that more than any other made you the man you were, the man they loved. Thank you, Brother James. Our annual activity fair is coming up on Wednesday, September 11th, during community period. It's a great way to learn about the 50 plus clubs we have available here at LaSalle. With more, here's the new Director of Student Activities, Mrs. Stott. I'm here today with Mrs. Stott, the Director of Student Activities, here to talk about the Activity Fair. So, just a few questions. Uh, when's the Activity Fair taking place and where's it going to be? The Activity Fair is on Wednesday, this Wednesday coming up on the 11th, and it's in the auditorium. And it takes place for, during the entire community time, so any time between 11.30 and 12.30, students can stop by in the auditorium to take a look. And what are some benefits of going to the activities fair for like these freshmen and even the older grades? So for freshmen, it's definitely different because we want them to come and see what we have to offer. We actually have over 50 clubs now at LaSalle, um, and most of them are voluntary enrollment, meaning that you can just sign up on the day of the activity fair and make sure that you get in the club. Um, so for freshmen, it's a great way to make friends. It's a great way to see what they're interested in, kind of explore things outside of the classroom. Um, for upperclassmen, we still want upperclassmen to come absolutely because we want more involvement in activities that we have here. We have a, a lot of really awesome clubs here. Well, besides the, the idea of the activities fair alone, what's the uh, the big stress on early involvement, and like why is this important for like just freshmen going forward? Well, coming to the activity fair in general lets you see in person what the clubs are. There is a website now that we have updated with all of the clubs and activities at LaSalle, and that's a great first place to look for freshmen or any students at all. Um, but when you go to the activity fair, you're going to actually get to talk one-on-one -on -one with people about what their club is, what they do in their club, why they like their club, and you're going to get to sign up and receive information from the club moderators and the students in the club as well. In terms of getting involved early. Um, this is the way that you make friends freshmen. This is a, a great way to make friends and meet some new guys at LaSalle that maybe didn't go to your old school, um, Think guys that are into the same kind of things that you are. Um, so that's the most important thing. So what are the many clubs here that we have to offer? So we have all different kinds of clubs. We have sports clubs, intramurals are going to be there and you can learn about our intramural program. We have a dance club, we have a cooking club, we have lots of language clubs, science and technology clubs like WXP or robotics, the environmental club as well. And then we have a lot of writing clubs as well where you can write for the yearbook, you could write for a newspaper that we do on campus. So there's tons of options, that's just a good rundown. Awesome. Uh, well thank you Mrs. Stott for coming in. We hope to see you guys Wednesday, December 11th at the Activities Fair. Finally this week our new Student Council President Jake Crawford wants to provide an update for the events coming up for the school community. Hey LaSalle, what's up? This is Jay Crawford, your school president for this up and coming year, and I'm here to talk to you about a few things that are coming up this fall. First things first, I would like to talk about the activity fair coming up on this Wednesday during your community time. All the clubs will be set up along with different things and activities to do. Make sure you guys show out. Secondly, I would like to talk about the school mixer, which is for the freshman and sophomore grades. 
Tickets are on sale and the dance will be from 7 to 10 p.m. I would like to talk about all the fall sports going on at this time too. Everyone's doing a great job in bringing the school community together. We're really doing a great job as a school in general. Lastly, I would like to bring together and talk about the homecoming dance for the juniors and seniors on October 19th. More information will come about that. Thanks. Our fall sports are in high gear, and our football team is moving up the local rankings. And congratulations to Sam Brown for breaking the school record of five touchdowns versus North Penn. Rashida and the shotgun on first down. Fires it over the middle, has Sam Brown wide oh, open, yeah. and he's off to the races. Touchdown LaSalle, 13-0, just like that. Tight formation here. The give, and Eaton has room. Eaton lost the football. Ball is loose, and LaSalle's on it. Tricky set here with two backs directly behind the quarterback, and that one's going nowhere. And the ball might be loose again. LaSalle thinks they have it. The ball was loose. Wow. <laughs> and they do. LaSalle wow. football. Another turnover, this time right on the goal line. Seen on both sides of the ball here, get some action on offense. Rashida steps up. Jumps to throw it, coming back for it. What a catch. Sam Brown inside the two yard line. I just saw flashes of Carson <laughs> Wentz. Play to just stand tall in the pocket and find his man downfield, Brown. Sam Brown walks into the end zone. Touchdown, wow. LaSalle. Nine, 9.02 to play second quarter. Rushes on, throw over the top, and interception. Wow. <laughs> what a hit. Jalen Hanton, third and five in a compressed space. Mashita right over the middle. Sam Brown into the end zone. Touchdown. Shotgun formation. Fourth down and five. Barrow incomplete. Dylan Trainer in there on the breakup. Yard gain, third and 11. As Machita steps it into the throw. And that's a good catch there. Upfield, number 16 for LaSalle. Justin Machita. Some brotherly love here from North Penn. I like how everybody's getting involved. DeVos, Sam Brown, Liam Kennedy's got a couple catches. Brad Vespi as well. And here's Sam Brown on the screen. He's going to beat everybody to the end zone. Touchdown, LaSalle. <laughs> <laughs> about the clock or the pep band? Here's Mayo Howell. Jukes oh, one wow. out of his shoes, and he's, he's gone. gone. Touchdown boy. for the freshman, Mayo Howell. How do you do? Stay up to date with all of our sports teams on Twitter all season long. Student updates will be posted all year long on the Student Council Twitter. Check it out on the Student Portal. Do you have what it takes to be the next explorer? Details on how to apply are in the Daily Bulletin. Thanks for watching. Good luck this year, new explorers, and hail us out.